Now, if you're actually looking for a wireless microphone system, the DJI mic is one excellent package to look at. Now, what you actually get with the unit itself is a nice charging and carrying case over here. Hard case to be frank, it's charging case too. It comes with one transmitter right over here and also two recorders or microphones. And, um, I'm wearing one over here right now. This is how small it actually is. And also it comes with uh, nice uh, windscreen muffs or dead cats, whatever you want to call them. It comes for two of them with the, for the two microphones. Uh, it comes also with a uh, TRS cable, a charging cable, USB-C charging cable, and a very nice carrying case too. Like, check this out. This is a very, very high quality case here. You can actually use to put everything inside. You can carry that. I use, I've been using this to carry this around. Very nifty, very handy. Actually, DJI did a very good job putting a whole package together. And the most interesting part is that it's really, really easy to use. Basically, I was a little bit skeptical because the usage was actually really simple, right? You take it out of the box, you take out the recorder itself. You don't even have to use the receiver, just the recorder, which is the transmitter, right? And the best thing is that there is no software involved to use this unit. You practically just take it out of the box hit the record but power it on hit the record button on the recorder here as you can see mine it's recording right here right now and this episode is going to be filmed primarily on the dji mic and as i state somewhere else but this is as simple as that you take it out from the box you start recording done or you can actually use the receiver plug that in with your uh, the necessary cables that come with it and plug it into your phone or your uh, your camera which accepts a microphone input and you're good. Let's take a closer look at the microphone side. You can see the build quality is excellent. Very nice the designs here as well. And on what the one side of the unit, you have your standard power button to turn on and of course your USB-C charging port. The other side has a big button to record. So you can press this, it vibrates to start, uh, start and stop recording to let you know. And there's a link button here just in case the uh, microphone and the receiver loses connection you can click on this and you'll repair it up automatically now towards the back of the unit you do have a clip now this clip is good and handy if you want to clip onto something that you can clip it onto uh, and i'm gonna clip it on my shirt you can see when in the video and it also comes with a nice small square magnet and this is handy just in case you want to basically put this uh, somewhere you cannot clip your microphone to and you can put this behind your clothing and something like that and you can have the magnet uh, kind of hold the microphone in place for you so this is a really cool uh, addition to the uh, DJI microphone site now on the top, you do have the microphone. The microphone is an omnidirectional microphone, so it's always good to put it as close as possible to your talent or the audio you want to record. And on the other side, this port over here, this 3.5 mm millimeter port is for an external microphone. So if you have an external lavalier mic or microphone that can be plugged in here, you can basically use this DJI mic transmitter as a wireless system with your external microphone. So you have a choice there, really nice. It makes it one of the smallest wireless transmitters you can use for an external mic. And the uh, if you notice also here on the microphone side, there is a small groove, there are two small grooves here. Quite interesting because they designed it that way so that uh, when you put in the uh, windscreen muff, the windscreen muff also has the small grooves on it. So you just line the grooves together. Uh, let me see here. Okay, and what you do is once you line it up, it goes, it sits in the, it sits in place, and you just have to twist it a little bit. Yep, clockwise on my end, and you have the windscreen muff tightly and snugly on the unit itself. So it's a pretty nice design. So you don't actually uh, accidentally pop this out when you're using it, especially if you're doing run and gun. You don't want it to pop off when you're shooting. Let's take a look at the receiver over here. And once again, a very nice design here. As you can see, same thing like on the microphone. Uh, the sides here, you have the power button and also the USB-C charging port for this unit. 
on the other end it has a mic uh, the headphone jack where you can plug your headphones in to monitor your audio your audio quality and the loudness of course and you have an output here where this works with the uh, cable they provided as well you can plug this into another device so that the audio from the receiver will be heard on the uh, device you plug it into so you put it into a recorder or a micro or a camera the microphone will definitely the output will go to your device now on the bottom here normally it comes with this uh, clip and this clip acts like a hot shoe if you want to plug it into your DSLR or a uh, cold shoe mount section. Uh, you can put that in and you can actually just uh, use that uh, to secure the unit. Now if you do take it out, you have this exposed uh, pins over here which allow you to either choose from a lightning uh, port connector here or a USB-C connector you can see here. Right, and the easy thing here is all you need to do is you line up the two arrows and basically you can connect them and use the device or this receiver on the device of your choice as long as they support the uh, connection mode that you plug into. I've tested it on a, uh, like I said, a mobile phone, a, a PC, and everything works. As long as the device actually is able to pick up USB-C connections, there shouldn't be any problem there. Now I'll quickly run through the settings here. Uh, there are you can. It's not a very uh, complex interface. Luckily, it's very simple to use. As you can see, the main interface here shows me uh, which microphone is uh, kind of on a, a signal right now, uh, and then what how uh, hot the signal is coming in right exactly right here as I'm recording. This guy's picking it up. Uh, it's recording too. Uh, the M mode over here on the top shows it's in mono mode, and the battery power for the transmitters which are the microphones it also if I were to push down it's a touch screen small thing but that's a touch screen if you pull it down you basically can set some settings here I'm in mono mode basically you can switch through to receiver gain sorry if it's a bit blur here I'm trying to focus this and uh, you got the volume for your uh, output over here you got uh, transmitter settings and some other settings here too. Now I would say when you start off make sure you know what you're shooting uh, for and what kind of audio you want to get and you want to come into the mono mode here and choose whether you want it to be mono or stereo or something else. So I can change this to a mono with safety channel which is have it records an extra track which has I think minus 6 dB or something like that. So just in case you have a very loud location you may want to use the safety channel. Uh, there is also stereo mode if you want to have that on. You do have also uh, the option to have the uh, stereo mode, sorry, go back to stereo mode. You can have left or right, right or left, or both sides. You can choose them and swap them around. So choose which kind of mode you need to. And I think this is the most important part. The other thing you may want to uh, go through is the receiver gain or the uh, transmitter settings for your other gain settings. So the gain settings are important because you you need to do some sound checks. You want to make sure your gain is correct, not too loud, not too soft, just good enough. And uh, just you have to add uh, adjust the setting on the uh, transmitter side. So this is the only way you're going to be able to adjust the gain or the settings on the transmitter, which is the microphone side. So you want to set it over here, and once it's set it's already saved automatically onto the uh, transmitter side. So you don't actually have to do anything more, you just have to start using it straight away. But prior to that, make sure you connect everything, everything's in wireless mode, and then you can basically set the settings here, whether you want to have low cut on or off, and all the other settings. I won't go through every single step here, there's a lot to cover, but you should be able to uh, uh, browse through and decide what you need here. I normally would set the receiver gain, just to make sure the gain is correct. Normally everything's at zero, so I'm, I normally leave uh, the receiver gain at zero unless I know my uh, input recorder or my device isn't so good and making a lot of noise. I mean, we'll just lower it down a little bit. But if not, I will go into transmitter setting and I might even go to the transmitter gain and just adjust it. So yeah, like this over here, you can adjust it very, very easily. Okay. Well, by default, it's always at zero, so you can choose what you need to. 
very intuitive design, very easy to use. It's a touchscreen mode as well. So not too hard to navigate around this unit as well. Also, if you want to see how much battery and everything is on the unit here, you can also control it remotely. The first one over here on the left is whether or not the microphone is recording right now. And you can, you can tap that to start and stop recording. You can, uh, you can mute the uh, audio too. And also this one over here shows how much time left is uh, on the memory on the recorder side. So if you do use the recorder and record into it like what I'm doing right now, it basically is using up memory. So it's going to show you that it has another 14.9 hours of memory recording available for me on my transmitter microphone side. And last but not least, we're taking a look at the charging case and it also acts as a carrying case together. And very, once again, it is a very nicely built uh, material here. And if you open it up, you will see that it houses also the units itself in here and also the two uh, extra connectors at the back as well. Uh, if you use the units already, you finish using and shooting and uh, recording audio, just plug it back in and the unit will charge the devices up again so you actually have a long running time it acts like a, like a, uh, a power bank for these units over here and there's very nice uh, LED lights in the front as well over here when you, turn, when you open it up to tell you how much battery life is left once again it also uses a USB-C charging port too Now I am 20 meters away from the camera, receivers on the camera, recording from the transmitter on the transmitter itself and also towards the camera, which means you can actually walk around and you can actually get 360 footage like this and you can actually have that recorded synchronized too, which is pretty cool. And if you want to actually have a drone shot, this you can actually have a drone come in and you can record and synchronize audio later on, which is really, really cool. Now in summary, I have really enjoyed using the DJI mic, that's for sure, because it's so easy to use. You just actually take it out of the box, you, you take it out of the package, you can start using it straight away. It, got, it has all the necessary accessories too, you just have to plug, choose the one you want to use and you're good to go. If you want to do a run and gun kind of thing, make sure you have the microphone handy, type of power it on, clip it on, record, you're good to go make sure you shoot your uh, video on another device that you can synchronize audio with otherwise you can also plug in the transmitter like i mentioned before you can actually use that and synchronize audio straight away without doing any kind of edits as well so it's a really complete package you should check it out if you're looking into a wireless microphone although it may cost a little bit more but the uh, whole package comes excellent from dji itself so i'll leave all the necessary links below if you want to get them do check it out if you have any comments information questions do ask them in the comments section and till the next video guys i will see you and have a good one out